This is a Printelligence product briefing demonstrating how to make booklets with Canon's Prisma Prepare. Customers often send printers one or more files to create booklets with tabs, covers, and appropriate in positioning. It's something customers typically can't do themselves on their Holloway printers. At the same time, most aren't willing to pay for the compilation and make ready service. Printers need to quickly and easily construct these documents, and Prisma Prepare does this quite well. One of the first things I'd like to point out about Prisma Prepare is that it can run as a standalone application. You open it like Word or PowerPoint and open the file you desire. Being a standalone application opens up many opportunities because it means that Prisma Prepare can work with other PDF applications like Adobe Photoshop or Enfocus Pit Stop. Prisma Prepare can, of course, integrate into an automated workflow, but you do not need to launch it from a proprietary environment. In this case, we're going to open a PDF in which the client has already added bookmarks. We're currently working in the document workspace, which displays the pages as they will appear when printed. The other workspaces, Pages, VDP, and Production, are listed along the left. We'll look more closely at these later. I also want to show you how easy it is to automate processes with the Prisma Prepare version 7.1 automation option. So I'm going to record this demonstration. Then, I'll demonstrate how to use the automation template we created to repeat this Make Ready work on another document when we have finished this one. My first step is to identify the document type, which will configure many of the settings. In this case, we're creating a booklet with a left binding edge and two saddle stitches. I'll put the title on the spine and make the text the same color as the flamingo on the cover. Notice how I set that color by clicking on the desired color on the cover instead of having to type a value. Prisma Prepare shows how everything will appear in real time in the editor. I'll even place an image near the bottom of the spine. Next, I'm going to put in some tabs. I could create a standard bank of tabs, but for this booklet, I'm going to use bleed edge tabs instead. Bleed edge tabs are great. They don't add cost and don't stick out beyond the other pages, which means booklets cost less, pack tighter, and don't get mangled. I'll have Prisma Prepare automatically create a tab for each section containing the title of the section. The editor shows how the book edge will appear. Then I can easily adjust the tab shape and color, the font, size, and alignment, and other tab attributes. I can also select the multi-page view to see how the tabs will print throughout the entire booklet, or return to the document view to flip through the individual pages. I'm satisfied with the tabs and I'm now going to switch to one of the new features of Prisma Prepare version 7.1, the production workspace. The document workspace is great for visualizing how finished documents will appear, but printers also want to see how they will print. The production workspace shows every imposed side of every sheet, including trim marks and impositioning indicators. It also provides easy, direct access to media, layout, image, finishing, and delivery options. These are all things printers need to worry about to avoid production errors. I'm going to save some money by producing a two-up on some larger media. This significant alteration only requires a few clicks, and I can scroll through the sheets when I'm done to confirm everything looks all right. I'm satisfied with the results, but have one more step to perform. Remember how I was recording this process to create an automation template? I need to stop the recording and save my automation template. I'll name it Booklet 2UP on A3 Sheet. I should also note that this demo was done on a European system. Media sizes and weights can be configured however you prefer. I probably want to print this file, which brings up one of the benefits of Prisma Prepare being a standalone application. I can send it to a Canon printer driven by Prisma Sync, but I can also send it to another printer controlled by EFI Fiery, or even save the imposed file in PDF format. In this case, I printed it as a PDF, which we can open with Acrobat to view the imposed file. Let me also take a moment to show another use of saving PDFs. The one we just saved was a print-ready file, but you can also create a soft-proof PDF. Clicking on the Proof PDF button will generate an approval document which lets customers visualize the finished product, including verso and recto pages, tabs, finishing, spine printing, and notes about size, media, and so forth. Soft proofs like this are an excellent way for them to confirm that you are producing what they expect. I should, however, note that this is not a raster document, so recipients will not be able to zoom down to the pixel level for that kind of review. 
Canon chose to do this because raster files are usually too huge to email. Speaking of emailing, you can link Prisma Prepare with your email system to send proofs out directly to customers from Prisma Prepare. Setting up this job wasn't hard to do and didn't take long, but we can streamline the process further and eliminate potential errors by using our new automation template. I'll open another PDF file, but this time I'll apply the booklet 2 up on A3 sheet automation template I just created and sit back. The entire document is automatically prepared including bleed ed creation and two up in positioning in a matter of seconds. Not only is this faster, it means that there are no forgotten steps or typos. Now, I want to show you one more trick before leaving booklets. Sometimes you will want to tweak your automation template a little. For example, we might want to change the title on the spine for the next booklet. We could, of course, run the automation template and go back to the spine editor to alter the text. However, Prisma Prepare also lets us edit automation templates before they are applied. In this case, I'm going to use that technique to change the spine caption in our template to Jungle Puzzles and send it to a different printer. There are many other related features in Prisma Prepare, such as adding operator notes, separator sheets, or specifying stacking and rotation delivery options. But I won't go into them because this is intended to be an overview video, not a training session. I continue to be impressed with Prisma Prepare's clean design for performing routine make-ready tasks and easily creating and using automation templates. Printers will find the new production workplace simplifies their job and helps ensure that jobs print correctly. These capabilities will be valuable for printers who produce complex document types involving subset finishing, personalization, multi-up post layouts, tabs, and mixed media. Also. I love the new ability to edit automation templates so that people like me, who occasionally make mistakes, can edit them out of their templates instead of having to re-record it from the beginning. The one tweak I wish Canon would add to automation templates is the ability to insert breakpoints. I don't want to open and edit an automation template to enter the spine title each time I use it. I would much prefer to run it and have a dialog box pop up for me to type in the spine title, or select the desired media, or specify the target printer. I think tagging steps to pause for operator input would make it even easier to use.